FF14, but it's not the whole thing, it's that same game in that many minutes. Oh god, we lost a tank. Oh crap, 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 crap. There is- oh god, there it is! Okay, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there is one uh, kind of cool mechanic to this fight. I don't know if you'd call it a mechanic, it's just a, a thing. As you can see, this- oh boy, see right there, lightning. Uh, this uh, fight's taking place during a lightning storm, and if you group too close together with other characters, lightning gonna strike all of you, and it does a lot of damage. Oh god, LB this thing. Can we do it? Do we have the damage? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, oh, I think we did it. Yay, we did it. Awesome. Oh, good. I can't even spell that. That rules. <laughs> Everyone, no way. Oh, we saved the chain island. <laughs> Bismarck barfed up a key, I can only assume. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, you know who gets to come? The player with the best name and the only one left. Zen Furhart. Great job, guys. All right, barf it up. Uh, that's a harpoon. Don't shoot the key. Oh, good. Yep, that does look like a fantasy uh, high-tech sci-fi key. Clink. Oh no, no, not now. I'm just, I just grab the key. Then they have your health issues. Okay, cool. Back here again. Yes, hi. Okay, whale crystals lighten up. That that rules. Wow, it's a green one. Oh, uh, Heidlin, girl, you okay? I'm, I'm, uh, okay, cool. Ow. All right, glad we had this talk. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Dislodged it. All right, I'll just take this key I've worked so hard for. Oh, no! Oh, Assian pranks. Oh, and Pope pranks. So falls the Lord of Mists, as did all others before him. Shut up. Ah, uh, how much you have grown. <laughs> oh, I always laugh when uh, villains say stuff like how much you've grown, you know. Because it's got the tone of, wow, I haven't seen you since you were two feet high. I was friends with your dad. Oh, goody, she has key. Oh, yeah, oh no, it's clipping through my sword. <laughs> she does have key. Key unlock secrets. No, oh, I, oh, ow. That, oh, clink again. I needed that key. Um, if you could let, this is highly inconvenient. What? You're getting your light powers back. Oh, floating key. Pope, are you going to grab that? Don't let it fall off the edge. I mean, that would suck for both of us. Oh boy. Thanks, creepy bitch, and thanks, protagonist. Oh man, I worked hard for that key. Time to go to heaven. I mean, I could send you there. Oh, it's one of those keys you just let float up in the air and then it twists. Is this some Star Wars shit? Is this some Rise of Skywalker horse malarkey? Wow, ancient Alligan holograms. Little Tupac starts dancing up there. <laughs> <laughs> Something's funny. Oh no, here come his goons in the goon boat. Oh yeah, goon bow. Okay, and exit the Pope. Exit the Asian. I'm just, oh man, I'm just stuck. I'm in, ensconced in goo. I'm going to make up for my gross ancestors and be a god. I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather you just went bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, see ya. Go, uh, go do your thing. Okay, oh, the mist has dissipated. I'm fine. Whoa. What's the, oh yeah, that's the entrance to Azisla. It's got a, it's got a weird hex pattern going on. Right? Because technology. Everyone knows technology is hex-based. Like Iron Tank on the Sega Saturn and, and many other popular simulation role-playing games. Uh, oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's gross Technoland. It's pretty cool Technoland, uh, even though it's kind of a bitch to get around. It's a little confusing. Are we going to get a narrative from Tom when I step foot into Aziz Law? All oh, right, what a fight. Alphano, how do you feel about all this? Well, gosh, man, I'm sorry I was useless again. It's fine, I'm used to it. Oh, I was in the engine room with Wedge, so I couldn't hear a gosh darn thing. And now that mean old Pope's got the Skywheel key. But hey, here's the good news. We're alive, and we know where to go. The plot is indeed pointing us in the right direction. Thanks, Alphano. Alphano seems determined to put all thoughts of failure aside. Oh, I feel like that that's going to take him a while. Uh, check it out, ma'am. We may not have the key, but we did save fat birds from Skywheel. I guess that's true. We did a service for this community. Well, let's go tell the chief. All right, I think this kid is just starved for praise and adulation. Sid and his pals are fixing the airship. Let's go tell the chief. Uh-oh, something sure stinks, ma'am. Oh no, where is everyone slash everything? Oh, we better pray. Oh, they're kneeling. <laughs> oh no, Imperials. They've captured my bird squad. Uh-oh, Empires. Yeah, let me add him. Ew, who's that? He's cool. Oh, Regula Van Hydrus. A dude so fascinating, his name means normal. <laughs> oh, he knows we're here? Okay, hi. Yeah, we're, it's us. 
Warrior of Light and Wienertron, respectively. Who the devil are you? Oh no! Varys Zos Galvis, he is the Emperor? Wait a minute, no, that can't be right. Because I seem to remember, yeah, I think he is the Emperor, right? He's got just hilariously wide armor. Oh cool, the Warrior of Light. What? She killed the Black Wolf? I sure did. Wow, even heroes want to get to Technoland. Well, I'm not surprised. You guys chase primals every which way. Man, he's real jowly. I mean, we, we both share the same goal, uh, a world without primals. We just uh, go about it in different ways. Okay, hang on. We got to address this real quick. I don't, I don't know if this is just me not knowing how English works or if this is a common mistranslation, but referring to a planet as a star always fucks me up 100% of the time. Because a planet is like a mass of rock and metal and churning magma and oceans, maybe. And a star is just superheated gas, right? And I always see Japanese games refer to planets as stars. Because in, in Japanese, the, the, word, the, the words are used interchangeably. The, the kanji hoshi is often used to mean a star or a planet. But the distinction in English I thought was pretty clear. Planets are where you live, stars are just huge flaming balls. So what's the deal? Was it, was it a thing like a hundred years ago to call a planet a star? I don't know, folks, right back. Uh, your method's whack, dog. We won't stand by and let you do a Sega Genocide. Wow, look at this ballsy fucking elf speaking his mind when he's about to die. You're, you're focused on the small picture, elf boy. You gotta consider that the, the world is more important than this one continent. Hey, it's my job as Emperor to kill primals. If that means killing everybody else uh, to do so, that's totally fine. I'm, I'm down with that. Yes, sir. Oh no, don't kill those birds! No! You dare no, don't. bear they weapons against my pals. They are not his thralls. Thank you, wiener boy. Come on, step on in. Boy. Oh, God. Uh, suddenly, kablam. <laughs> uh, is that Sid? Are we we're getting saved by the Sid? Are we getting... Oh. Oh, it's Lucia! She said... Oh, hell fuck yeah. I want that mount so bad. <laughs> I forget how to get it. Emperor Swole Face, we gotta go. God, why are the why is the Imperial family so wide? Alphano, what do you see in the sky, buddy? Is it me? Is oh oh that's a big Imperial ship. That hi wow oh, that's its own kind of sky well. Oh hey I'll see you around, Dork of Light. That's mean Emperor. I don't like you very much. I have okay that that Magitek armor the the um. Amano designed Magitek armor. I have the black one you get from the story. I have a gold one I got from something else. I really want that white one. Well, gosh, man, what does the Emperor want with Technoland? I, I don't know. I'm going to go out on a limb and say power. What is anybody's fucking motivation in any goddamn JRPG? <laughs> All right. Success. Alpha Note. That was fun. Thanks for hanging out in cutscenes with me, man. I'm sorry. It's been a month. I'm just so starved for interaction with you, Wienertron. Lucia, how'd you get that uh, big white Magitek armor anyway? Oh, time for some wiener scenes. Uh, gee whiz, man, we were real close to the Emperor. With one of his metal cronies. Uh, anyway, better make sure Sid's okay. He might have run into empires too. I'll talk to Bird Chief. Awesome, you do that. Speak with Sid. He's over here. How am I gonna get there? I have a solution. It's called Dr. Claw. Going the wrong way. <laughs> wow, we saw that shit from afar. Glad you're alright. And, uh, Alphano too, I guess. What the hell happened? Havelin explains the Emperor. Holy shit, the Pope and Assian and the Emperor? <laughs> this is legit a funny line, though. What is this, a procession of notable bastards? <laughs> oh, I love you, Sid. Well, good news, sir. The birds are happy that we killed the Sky Whale. Oh, hi, ma'am. The chief says hi. I still want to know where you got that armor. Lucia, you got some splaining to do. The Zundu chose the cowardly route, and fortunately, no one was hurt. Oh, I think that mean old emperor must be focused on finding Technoland. Uh, otherwise, he would have ripped those birds to shreds. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, my boat's ready. Awesome! Hello, Sid old boy, take me to Ozis Law, aka Technoland. Check it out, Wedge did a geometry. Judging by the key's light, we found out where Ozis Law might be. Uh, cool. Don't worry, we'll catch those fucking assholes. They may have a head start, but we've got the faster boat. Oh, here we go. Is this gonna be Tom welcoming us into Ozis Law? Oh, maybe not yet. Oh, Lucia and her mysterious white armor. Wow, never thought I'd pilot one of these again. Buh? Oh, she's taking off her head. Oh, no. She's taking off her circlet to reveal she's got a dot thing in her forehead. Oh, you go, Junius. All right, so she's from the Empire, originally. Well, that makes sense. I thought you were your sister. If you remember from uh, Castrum Meridianum, yeah, the boss was Livia S. Junius, Lucia's sister, who rode that white Magitek armor, and she had impractical arm guns. That's right. She was my sister, and then our parents were killed, and she went to live with Army, and uh, I didn't. 
Instead, I chose to become a James Bond. Well, gosh, ma'am, you don't really love Ishgard? So the Empire sent her to be like an agent to hang out in Ishgard and look for relics in the vault? They probably wanted me to find that key. Instead, I found Emmerich. She is real into the Lord Commander. At first I thought I could use him, but it turns out he was just a cool dude. I was bewildered by his resolve. He had a shitty past like me and my sister. But instead of being sad, he got good. And then, uh-oh, I realized I think I like Ishgard more. So I told Emmerich and he was cool with it. What a guy. Uh, cool story, ma'am. But doesn't your sister still hate us? <laughs> hey, that shit's in the past. Well, yeah, but, okay. Oh wait, is Alphano addressing the fact that we killed her sister? <laughs> I think that must be it. My sister fought for what she believed in and golly shucks, that's what we're gonna do. Hey, it's all right. I was an empire too. Welcome aboard. You're good with robots. Aww. You. Oh, we're coming up on Oz's Law. Wow. If, I think more so than Alpha, though. If anybody has a uh, derpy wiener voice, it is Wedge. Here we go. Oh, Sid, I ju I'm holding a full mug of coffee. Breaking through clouds with our powerful ship. Oh yeah, Azizla's got weird, gross uh, pea soup sky clouds. There's Technoland. I think that's it. You think? Coming on down for a landing in a robot brain village. The Allegan Empire. Ow, ow, quickly crackly. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh no, we can't get into Technoland because it's got a magic hex shield. Not now, Wedge, we're busy. I've lost your auxiliary propeller. Thank you, Biggs. Uh, I think we're bones, sir. Well, let's retreat. Oh, goddamn Allegans and their tech. Uh, that's a, there is this uh, recurring trope in Final Fantasy games, and it, as far as I know, it started with um, maybe four? I don't know, maybe two or three. I haven't played far enough into two or three to actually know what happens, but like... And it happens in FF14 a lot, and that is um, you have airship, Airship can't fly in a certain thing or through a certain thing. Do a quest to put a drill on your airship or put some armor on your airship and then continue. Because it definitely happens in FFs 4 and 5. It does not happen in 6. There's just a lot of, oh, we can't fly over lava. It's too hot. We can't fly through these rocks. We need a drill. Sid, that was a good series of cutscenes. Thank you for sharing your shitty ship with me. Oh, dang, I thought we had it. On the other hand, we're alive. I guess the power of that key protected Space Pope from the barrier. Ah. Hi, we're back. Hello, Ishgard. Well, according to Hot Science, Dad, we need that key. But here's a problem. We don't have it. Let's talk it out at Emmerich's place. Okay, awesome. What are we going to talk about? Do we need the key? Or are we going to find a key substitute? Fermal Bert. All right. Hi, guard. I'm here to see a lovely boy. There they Oh, everyone's here except, uh, what's his face? Estinian. What is Estinian up to right now? So, to summarize, Azisla was put there by the Elegans. And that's where we're going to find that rascally Pope. Oh, cool. Unfortunately, there's a big old barrier surrounding it, and it fucked my ship right up. Here's the reason why. Fantasy science. Uh, it looks like we're out of luck without that key. Yeah, well, the key's on the other side of the barrier, and there's only one, so shut up. But there's gotta be another way. Isn't there? There's gotta be. Hold your horses, this ain't my first barrier. But this is my first humongous barrier. Well, that's right, sir. When we fought Leviathan, we needed a whole heap of crystals. Well, hang on, we're not fucked yet. Instead of trying to nullify the barrier, let's poke it real hard. Oh. <gasps> How, though? It's real simple, you big dummy. We just make a big battering ram out of condensed ether and put it on the ship. Okay. God, every solution of his involves condensed ether. Oh, uh, if only those Archons were still here. I've already forgotten who or what the Archons were. <laughs> Did anyone ever play that chess game on Windows in the mid-90s called Archon Ultra? That game ruled. Worry not, Master Elfington. Last night I saw Tataru being creepily giddy. I believe she has found somebody who knows from this sort of shit. Whoa. Is that, is that what an Archon is? An Archon knows from Ether? Okay. Well, this shit's pretty cut and dry. You go find the Archon, I'll start working on the mount for the ram. Yes, uh, yes, Father. Science dead. Oh, that's cute. He calls his airship an airship reborn. Like how the game was a realm reborn. I mean, there's also the possibility that's not a connection that... Yeah, let me add him. Ew, who's that? He's cool.